everyone? Welcome to a new episode. So in the past, I know that I've done quite a lot of material on decentralized exchanges and I may have veered a little bit off of that path. So I'm going to bring it back and give you the state of the DEXs. I'm going to go over these different decentralized exchanges, what kind of updates they have in store, and which ones are new to the scene. So let's get into it. I'm focusing on BlockNet, and I'll be covering more in the weeks to come, but for the purposes of this video, I will be providing a quick yet passionate reminder why decentralized exchanges will be our saving grace. And then I'll get into what BlockNet is all about, as well as the technical details of their most recent updates, as well as what to expect looking forward. There are many reasons why we as cryptocurrency users should seek out decentralized exchanges to facilitate the trades of our decentralized cryptocurrencies. Now, safety is and should be a big factor. Every day, this proves more relevant. Now, if you were a hacker and you knew that there existed a place where many new and unsuspecting people stored their cryptocurrencies using nothing more than a weak password, wouldn't you target it as well? Don't forget that centralized exchanges are a honeypot for hackers. Now, securing your funds and keeping them legitimately in your possession is a cornerstone of cryptocurrency's very existence. When you use a centralized exchange, you're pretty much giving that exchange and whoever owns it the power to do whatever they want with your funds. You're trusting that they care about their reputation and they won't screw you over, but we all know that humans are flawed and this type of of blind trust rarely ends well in the long run. Now, if you're new to this space, take a moment and search the Mt. Gox debacle. That's G-O-X. Now, don't feel bad if you missed out on that one. We're seeing yet another centrally controlled exchange go down a similar road as well. Bitfinex has also been shrouded with drama and less than transparent business practices, particularly with its ties to Tether. Now they're in the news because they've cut ties from Noble Bank and now users are having issues when trying to withdraw their funds from the exchange. If you want to read more about that, links are provided down below. This is why I love that decentralized exchanges exist. They allow you to trade your cryptocurrencies without requiring you to deposit your coins onto any kind of centralized wallet, without requiring you to entrust your coins to anyone else but yourself. Now with a DEX, you are always in control of your coins. One more side note, which is definitely deserving of its own video that I will be posting in the coming days. Not all exchanges that are claiming to be decentralized truly are. All right, now before I get into that whole bag, let's get into BlockNet and all that it has been up to and has to offer. So BlockNet is a blockchain with its own native coin called Block, but it's also a protocol. Now this protocol is what allows you to trade cryptocurrencies without a centralized exchange by enabling you to interact and transact across different blockchains. BlockNet connects the nodes of different blockchains and allows them to communicate to each other. Think of it as an internet of blockchains. Now this communication is achieved thanks to what is called XBridge. This XBridge is what allows you to conduct cross-chain transactions or atomic swaps. Now, if you're not sure what these are, check out my past video that covers this topic. You can also find a link to that up in the corner. As of this writing, there are over 90 different blockchains that are supported by the BlockNet protocol that have been formally announced. That means you can trade between 90 different coins. All right, now that you've been introduced to BlockNet, let's take a look at what they've been working on lately and what we can expect to see in the future. So the newest version of their wallet is 3.10.4, but be aware that the next update should be released very soon. Now with this new wallet, you will be equipped with your trade history, as well as the ability to more easily view and vote on proposals. Now in regards to the BlockNet DX, which is the decentralized exchange, they've added an automated setup option which should make it easy 
easier for users to create an account and get started, seeing as how decentralized exchanges have, for the most part, required at least a bit of technical knowledge in order to be able to use them properly. This automated setup is a great update that will help open the door for more average users to reap the benefits of a decentralized exchange. Now, looking forward, according to their FAQ, BlockNet does not yet support SegWit addresses. So just keep this in mind that you'll need to use legacy addresses instead. They are also still working on integrating with the Ethereum blockchain, and they are still working on a solution called XRouter, which will enable users to interact with different blockchains without requiring them to download the full version of each blockchain. Now, this one can be expected to roll out by the end of the year. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment down below, especially if there is a decentralized exchange that has piqued your interest and you think other people should check it out. And hit subscribe to get your daily fix of all things crypto.